Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is episode 9 of the Discord GS Guide, and in this episode, I will be teaching you how you can create a custom prefix command. So let's jump straight into it. I hope you'll enjoy. So before I begin, let me first tell you what a custom prefix command really is. So basically, what it does is it allows different servers to have different prefixes for the same bot. Maybe one server has question mark as the prefix for this bot, while another server has exclamation mark, and that's how it works. So for this, you'll need a package called QuickDB. And you may think that you just go to packages right here, type in QuickDB and install it. But I'm not going to be doing that because the latest version of QuickDB here, it causes a lot of issues when you try downloading it. And I don't even think it's possible to download it here on REPL. So instead what you do is you go to package log.json and you scroll all the way down until you find something starting with P. For example, Prism Media right here, which is the only thing I have with P. And you just go down and paste this in. I leave a haste bin link down in the description below from where you can copy all of this. So what this does it is that it downloads a previous version of QuickDB which uses a more stable version of Better SQLite 3 or I can say a version that is easier to download here. And after that what you do is you go down here and paste this in, there's another bit of code. I leave this in the description as well and let me remove that comma. Now I'll just run this and it says npm install here. Let's wait for a while. And once this is done, you'll get an older version of QuickDB installed. So there we go. And now let me define QuickDB. So const db equal to require brackets and quick.db. So that's how you define it. And now I'm going to be creating the command. So if command is equal to equal to prefix, open up brackets and type in bot dot commands dot get prefix and then dot execute message comma args comma db because you're going to be using quick dot db here. And now let me make the file prefix.js and fill this in. And finally execute this message comma args comma db. And there we go. So here we're going to be writing in the code. So basically how this will work is we're going to be having an argument next to the prefix. I mean next to the prefix command, which will be the new prefix. So let's do let pre equal to args zero. And if exclamation mark pre, which is if the prefix, I mean the argument isn't given, message channel dot send, you will have to specify prefix next to the command and let's do an else statement if the prefix is given <coughs> so here I'm going to be making it so that anyone in the server can change the prefix if you want you can make it so that only administrators can do it but I'm not going to be doing that right here so now what you do is db.set and open up backticks. So db, how quick.db works is, I'll leave a link to the documentation if you want. You can read that, it helps a lot. But basically how it works is you're gonna have db dot a value here or something. For example, get set has, and there are many like that. So set basically what it does is, it uses a key and a value. So the key here will be, let's call this prefix underscore message dot guild dot id. And the key is basically like a variable and here let's have pre as the value. So pre will be the argument and the new or the new prefix. So the message.guild.id is a predefined ID for each server on Discord and it changes from one server to another. It's unique. So for example, one server may have three to one as the ID. This is an example because IDs aren't that small. So then the key would be prefix underscore three to one. So I'll explain this more in detail after you go to the index.js 
but basically this is it you got to do db dot set prefix underscore message dot guild dot id and then pre which is the new prefix and then we'll type in message dot message dot channel dot send open up backticks and type in your new prefix is and type in pre so that's basically it for the prefix command but you have to go to index.js now and what i'm going to be doing here is since you use prefix here a lot and here prefix is defined as exclamation mark i'm going to be removing this and changing const to let so that the value can change and now here i'm going to be here i'm going to be opening up a message i'm going to be opening up another function i mean so let's do bot dot on message and comma async message make that arrow and then we yeah, open up curly brackets and here what i'm going to be doing is if db dot get so that gets the key let me just type the key in here open up backticks and type in prefix underscore message dot guild dot id if this is equal to null which means if this key is not specified and no one has used the prefix command in the server yet open up curly brackets and type in prefix which is defined here is equal to exclamation mark and else so if the prefix has been defined using the prefix command in the server then prefix is equal to db dot get. Open up backticks, a backticks, and type in prefix underscore message dot guild dot id. So basically, how this works is, since you have defined a prefix with the key uh, with the key prefix underscore three to one, for example. So if the id is three to one, the key will be three prefix underscore three to one. So for example, you have defined it as question mark and so here if you do db dot get prefix underscore message guild id it takes that key and checks for the value of the guild id so for example if it's in the same server having the id three to one it checks whether it has a value so you have defined it to be question mark which means that this is not equal to null and it goes here and prefix is equal to db dot get prefix underscore message guild id so it gets the value of the same key which is question mark and prefix will be equal to question mark and here if it's not defined for example you're in a different server which has an id of 441 and it uses this key for searching the value but there is no value for this key so if there is no value then the value is take, taken as null and this statement right here is true so the prefix will equal to question will equal to exclamatory mark and that's basically how it works if you think that was kind of complicated you can check out the documentation down below in the description that might make things slightly easier so now i'm done with this let me just read on the program and now let's test it out so let me do a random command and this works so let's do prefix and it says you have to specify the prefix next to the command so let's do prefix question mark well, guys, I think I made a mistake here. Let me just correct this. I wrote message with one S. And now let me just read on this. There we go. So let's do prefix question mark once again. And there we go. Your new prefix is question mark. So if I do exclamation mark ping, for example, nothing happens. But if I do question mark ping, it works ping. So that's basically it for the custom prefix command. And I think I will be wrapping up the video right here as well. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe as that would be greatly appreciated. See you on the next one. Peace.